Hey everyone, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing and today we're going to be tying a medallion midge. Let's go ahead and get started right now. We have an Daiichi 1310, size 20 hook in the vise. You can tie this fly probably 18, 16, all the way down to 24, 26 if you really want to work, give your eyes a workout. So let's get a thread base laid down and we're using ADOT brown unithread here and we'll bring this all the way back to the curve and then snip the excess and we'll build a little bit of a body up before we move on into our ribbing such a small fly you don't have to uh, go back and forth many times and now that we have our thread base laid down we're going to move right into some unithread this is 6 aught white, and we're just going to pull off about uh, 3 inches or so, snip it with scissors. And this is going to be the ribbing of our fly. Tie that right in at the thorax area with a pinch wrap. Pull it back just to adjust it. And then bring your thread all the way back to the bend, and we'll run up a time or two to clean up any white that's showing through while also building a profile that gets a little more bulky as we approach the thorax. All right, probably get a little more up here and that is good to go. From here, we're gonna take our ribbing and what I do is I spin it clockwise just to Get it nice and corded, and that gives you a little better rib look than if it were flat. And all of the materials that we're working with today can be found at tridentflyfishing.com. And orders over 49 bucks do ship for free. It's a great winter pattern if you want to stock the box with it. It's also a pretty simple tie. So get that tied off right at the thorax, and you can snip the excess. And then we're going to move into some hairline clear wing material. And I've pre-cut this. It's oh, about three times the diameter of the fly itself. And you're only going to cut this in half so we have a wing for either side. There you go. All right, so now we'll start with the one closest to us just so we can see it. Okay, so we have that just about the right width. You want it to be about eh, two to three times the diameter of the whole fly. And we're gonna tie that in right at the thorax with a pin trap or so. And we want this to be not quite on the side and not quite on the top, kind of cocked off at almost a 45 degree angle. And we'll do that on the other side as well. And let's get this tied on on the other side. And again, we don't quite want it on the side and we don't quite want it on the top. Sort of a V. So we're gonna pull this over and then we're also gonna pull it back. So now let's move into some hairs ice dub. It's the color brown, it's gonna be our thorax. I, uh, I tend to like a little flash in there to imitate the gaseous bubbles that are often found in a midge pupa. This clear wing does a good job at that as well. This is just kind of added benefit. You don't need a whole lot of dubbing for this, so give yourself just a small wisp, and then we'll go ahead and get it right onto our thread. Let's get a, have just a little too much dubbing on there. You don't need a lot, so I just want to remove it before it becomes a problem. And we're gonna just wind this, make a nice pronounced thorax here. and get our thread just behind the eye of the hook. And what we're gonna do now is pull this wing right over the side like that, and then pull it right back and situate it again so it's sort of up like a V. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Helps to hold it down with your index finger you want to be careful about crowding the eye on this. From here, get rid of some fuzz. I'm gonna hit it with a half hitch right now. 
and then a trusty whip finish. We can clip our thread now. And then from here, we're gonna measure our wings to be just right behind the thorax there. And then from here, I just wanna soften these up a little and just so they're not, you know, just straight right across. Just looks less natural that way. There we go. That is a medallion midge. I wanna thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.